So, I think it's about time that I tell you what all these tutorials are building up to. As most of you know, we will be plowing through the animation series over the course of this month. But what you probably didn't know, unless you're a patron, is that the animations we'll be creating for these tutorials are also the animations we'll be using to create the game. This will technically be the ninth game I've worked on, and the second one I will have programmed. But it will be the first one that I create publicly. The last one took me three years to make, and with the exception of a few background objects that were created by my little brother. Thanks bro, you're awesome and I love you. The modeling, texturing, rigging, animations, programming, and soundtrack were created by me. That last point may surprise you, but fun fact, originally I started as a sound guy. It wasn't until high school and college that I learned how to do animation and programming. But regardless, creating this game was the hardest thing I ever did, and was the most incredible learning experience of my entire life. And I really want to share that experience with you guys, because there really is no other way to describe that magical feeling when you see every Everything finally come to life. You kind of just have to be there when it happens. And it's my favorite thing in the world. So here we go. The name of the game is Macrophage. You play as a white blood cell and defend the body against hordes of alien looking infections. The premise is simple. You hold the line until the mission is over. Short and sweet. The gameplay will be a fast paced action oriented third person shoot em up. Taking heavy inspiration from my favorite scenes in Starship Troopers. And the engine will mix gameplay elements from Armored Core and Halo with the close combat system of Zone of the Indus 2. Now, just to be completely transparent and real with you guys, I want to be very, very clear about what our objectives are and what they are not. We are not trying to revolutionize the gaming industry. We are not trying to be original. We are not trying to write characters and story that are going to make it into top 10 anime plot twists. Those things all take time and resources that we don't have. Our objective is to create 15 minutes of fun for someone who just wants to take a break from the world and feel like a badass. That is it. That is our only goal because the truth is that alone is going to take every single bit of time and energy we have over the next next four months. I know it might seem crazy, but trust me, I've done this before. See this list? What you are seeing on screen right now was the checklist for everything I had to do in order to finish the last game I put on Steam. For three years, I documented everything that I had accomplished that day, and in the end, this is what it looked like. So trust me when I say, if we're really lucky and we do our job right, at the end of four months, we just might reach one of our goals. Depends on how fast I can finish the blended tutorials and what the patrons decide regarding our next landmark with motion capture animation. But honestly, my true goal is really just to inspire and show you just what kind of awesome things you can do with the skills you learned from these tutorials. But if we can also create 15 minutes of fun that didn't exist before, I think it'll be a win-win for everyone. We've actually already completed one of the four characters I had planned for the game. You've probably already noticed that her design is inspired by mixing ideas from Xeno Saga, Armored Core, and Gundam. And next month in the modeling series, we'll create the enemies, the boss, and the standard white blood cell infantry. Now, I'm still deciding on her name. I wanted to give her a serial number, kinda like a weapon from Armored Core. Right now, her name is MPT35EXA. MP just stands for Macrophage, which is the type of cell she is. T is her designation to work in conjunction with T-cells, and EXA is her tag code name that you'll be hearing during missions. But 35 is just a random number. I just thought it sounded cool, but I'm not married to it. So I'm gonna let you guys decide the number. Pick a number between 1 and 100 and leave a comment down below. The comment that gets the most likes is the number we will give her officially. Anyway, hope you're looking forward to the next series, and as always, hope Hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you.